Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Tanvi Arora, working here as a functional consultant. So, in today's video, we are going to see the case scenario of accounts payable to purchase order or requisitions in Oracle ARCS. So, um, I will give you a brief explanation. So, it is actually accounts payable to purchase order requisitions. So under this reconciliation, transactions or the invoice IDs along with the line items, line amounts and the invoice amounts are actually matched up to ensure that everything is accurate on what the vendor has charged and what we have paid for and what will uh, we will have to pay for in the future. So depending on the line items description, whether it is a taxable item omitted or taxable or, or non-taxable or rebate item, whatever, all these kinds of things are present under the PO and the invoice. So today under Oracle ARCS, we will be reconciling the account ID 303 APRE, which is my accounts payable to PO transaction matching reconciliation ID. Now coming to my Oracle ARCS application. So this is the homepage of my application. Now we will see uh, uh, what format have been used and what profile I have created. So I have already created the profile for the reconciliation and uh, I will show you the format first. So under application, under configuration, I will go to formats. So my format name is uh, TMPO to AP invoice. So this format uh, has already been created. And as you can see that the name is TMPO to AB invoice description is transaction matching requisitions to invoices paid. Now the method that is used here is balance comparison with the transaction matching. So in the first module, we have seen that there were three methods, basically the balance comparison, the account analysis and the variance analysis. But in the transaction matching module, if I want to match the transactions and along with it, I want to compare the balances as well. So I will choose balance comparison with transaction matching. Similarly, in the case of account analysis method with transaction matching if i want to give analysis provide analysis for something uh, the balances and also do the transaction matching so i can choose the uh, balance uh, account analysis method with the transaction matching so now you can see that there is a match type that is ap to po it has already been created so this is very important in a transaction matching format as the first step in the transaction matching process is to create a match type then that match type is attached to a format and then this format will be attached to a profile before doing the reconciliation so this is an important step we'll uh, look uh, to this uh, match type also so uh, this is the balance summary tab my source system is the accounts payable and uh, my subsystem is the requisition books or the purchase order book okay so i'll just save and close this now uh, we will go to the profile section and search for our profile. So uh, this is the profile that I have already created. Let's just open this. Okay, so the name uh, or the account ID of my profile is 303 ABRE and the name is accounts payable to requisitions reconciliation or transaction matching and AB to requisitions transaction matching uh, I provided in the description as well. So the process that is used here is balance sheet process, risk rating I have provided according to the organization, needs of my organization. So it is medium account type I have used as accounts payable because we are doing the accounts payable reconciliation or the transaction matching. And uh, normal balance is credit because it's a liability item. So uh, as you can see, the organizational unit is uh, North America and format that I have uh, <clears throat> shown you, uh, the format that I have shown you is TMPO to AP invoice. So I have attached this format method is balance comparison with the transaction matching. And uh, I have provided 30 days for the reconciliation adjustments. Okay. So uh, we'll go to the workflow tab now. Uh, my preparer is Mr. Frank Taylor and my uh, reviewer is Amy Marlin. So uh, the frequency is monthly and the offset days and duration also I have provided. Then in the currency tab, um, I'm assuming that I'm only working in a single country. So I have chosen my functional currency as USD. Okay. And the rate type is accounting. Uh, let's just cancel this. Now uh, we will go to a match type and have a look on it. So AP2PO is my match type. 
so basically this is the match type that i have created the, the first tab is the properties tab which contains the basic information about the match type as in what are the sources and everything you can provide under that okay so you can see that the name id description and instructions are given the next tab is the data sources tab so uh, it basically means that from where you will be pulling out your data so here uh, are the two data sources as in the two uh, places where i am going to pull data to my application and match the transactions uh, these are the ap and the requisitions account or the purchase order book and here i am going to define my attributes so attributes as in uh, what column names that i have in my book or my excel sheet my application my erp system or what, whatever it is so these are the column headings that are there so uh, the next tab is the transaction types so uh, these these are the two transaction types that have been provided so basically these are the headings under which i am going to provide for my difference the difference between the two data sources so uh, this one is uh, the difference i'm assuming uh, is of the uh, because of the price discrepancy and uh, the uh, other category is the other one okay uh, so whatever difference is not falling under the previous uh, like in this category will fall under the default other category okay so you can see that the adjustment type attributes are by default id name description i can add any uh, other attributes as well from the global attributes okay so then the next tab is the match process uh, so basically match process provides what are the default attributes that i'm going to match and map and uh, these are the rules for the auto match so this these are the rules that have been provided so these are the two confirmed uh, matches and these are the two suggested matches this is a many to one match this is one to one match one to one exact match and one to one so uh, two are confirmed and two are suggested okay so if i open this rule so this is the rule one and you can see that uh, like uh, i have provided for uh, the amount matches exactly with the uh, requisition book amount then um, the vendor id matches exactly with the vendor id the line description matching uh, matches exactly with the so these are the exact match rules okay and then the in the invoice date there is a tolerance so tolerance is uh, provided for minus 14 to uh, plus 14 days in the date so why i have provided for tolerance in the date because it may happen that uh, the invoice date and the requisition date is not going to match because the day you send requisition uh, and you get the invoice is not very much possible so the tolerance uh, depending on your organization and your settlement with your vendors and etc so according to that we have provided the tolerance of minus 14 days to 14 days okay then this is the rule 3 and this is a suggested match okay then the fifth tab is of the uh, journal entry attributes if journal entry is required to be passed then what are the journal attributes uh, mapping i will be doing okay okay so the next uh, step is to import the balances into the job section so i will from here i will go to my job section and then under the actions tab i'm going to import my transactions in the two data sources okay so i have to select my uh, correct match type first so this is my match type that i have created ab to po po to invoice okay then um, if i will run the auto match uh, rule from here then it's automatically going to match my transactions but i am not going to run from here i will do it from the um, matching section okay so i'm selecting no here and this is the date format uh, so it should be exactly the date should be exactly in this format in our excel files the csv files that we are going to um, import here okay so basically if i show you my excel sheets okay so this is my um, ap uh, excel sheets that is the um, attributes if i say excel sheet attributes so this is the reconciliation id so this is the additional column that we provide apart from these attributes okay so vendor invoice amount invoice date invoice number these are the 
uh, attributes in my AP book. And if I talk about the requisition book, so these are the items that are there in the um, AP uh, requisition book. Okay. So basically, we are going to perform the reconciliation for the April period. Okay. So I'll go to my application and I, I'm going to import these two files. Okay. So here I will select my AP uh, file. And here I'm going to upload my purchase order file. This is requisition TM. Okay. So once I'm done with uh, this process, I'm going to submit this. As you can see, the status is pending. So I'm going to refresh it until it gets succeeded. Okay. So now the balances have also been imported and the transactions uh, have been imported. So let's go to the matching section. Let's uh, search for our profile. This is our profile, 303 APRE. As you can see that we have uh, unmatched transactions four in the in both of these systems, okay? In the two data sources. So if I'll open this, now I can see that I have unmatched transactions of 1,595 in both of the books. And if I total uh, my uh, line amount, so it will come to 1595 only. So these all transactions are unmatched as of now. Okay. So because I have not run the auto match rule, I'm going to do the manual uh, matching. Okay. So that's why it's showing in the unmatched transactions. So this is the um, overview tab. Then if I go to, there are uh, no uh, suggested matches with uh, adjustments or without adjustments because I haven't provided that in my rules. If I go to unmatched transactions, you can see that uh, there are four records in the first uh, data source and four records in the other data source. That is the requisition. So I'm going to manually match these. If I can match these manually, like if I'm going to compare the um, line amount that is 150. Also, I can see here is line amount is 150. Then um, also the invoice we can see. Okay, let's um, date is different. Uh, date is different here. Okay, but uh, tolerance is provided in the date. Okay, so I can match uh, these two transactions. Okay, I'm going to select this one and match. So I am actually matching these manually. Had I run the auto match rule, it had uh, been automatically matched. So these are matched now. Now I have no unmatched transactions left. And we can see that uh, the rules that I, we have put uh, into the um, match type are confirmed match rules only. Okay. So uh, rule name was manual match rule. So these were the four manual match rules according to which it has matched. So this is the complete process. For any queries, reach out to BISP uh, Solutions. Thank you.